Yo, 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 it's Matt Nick Jackson, the Young Bucks. And you are listening to the Too Sweet Wrestling Podcast. Podcast. Too sweet for the love. God, I'm blacking out. I'm blacking out. I just blacked out. Time for another round of the Too Sweet Wrestling Podcast. Oh, my this God. It's <laughs> Too Sweet. Do you like that headband? Oh, that was what? <laughs> I'm, I'm glad the, I caught that. I'm doing the Matt, the Matt Hardy. No, you were not doing the Matt. There you go. That's the Matt Hardy. Welcome to the Two Sweet Wrestling Podcast. I am Brett Blakemore. To my right is Cody Mallory. Hello. Why do you say it like that? I only have one I just, O. I, I just have, have one O, and you go Cody Mallory. I don't know. Continue. I don't know why I say it like that. <laughs> I always have. Fair, yeah. I think since like day one of starting this, I said it that way. I don't know. No, day one was day one was a point five actually. That was oh like, yeah, that. and we did it over the phone. <laughs> so bad. I actually for that point five, I didn't have the technology to put phone calls through yet. Yeah. So I literally put a microphone up to the phone <laughs> and then recorded it that way. That's funny. Yeah, it was real Jerry rigged. Sounded terrible. Uh, we have some business to attend to. The new WCIP champion is me. Thank you, Randy Orton, for winning the U.S. title and winning me the championship. You know, two things about this. One, it was fine. It was close. And two, the reason I'm not mad about it because you won fair trade. The only thing I don't like is that there wasn't a clear winner for the tag team one is why I lost it. Because you could have won that one, but if I would have got the tag team one... It would I would have won. Yep. And they just go, yeah, we're just gonna edit in a, in a no contest. I was like, cool. Yeah, no one gets points. Yeah, no one gets points. And then, well, no, the Usos win. All right. Technically, I'm not gonna hold this plastic belt the whole time. I just wanted to assert my dominance. That thing's gonna fall apart. Oh, it already is falling apart. It's crappy. Oh, I'll do this. Gosh. Someone's driving to work right now. They're just like, oh no, what is that? <laughs> If they're listening in the car on the ride home, they know what it is. They've listened to the show enough. To yeah, that's it. true. If you're dedicated to listen to it to going to work. I mean, what better time? You're commuting. Nobody has the, that long of a commute. I mean, like you could. Yeah, they do. Because you could finish it after work. Now, uh, so yeah, WCIP champion. Yeah, we we I were right you. on everything that we shared on. Like we were right on the uh, Flair ride, obviously. Rusev mm. Shinsuke, obviously. It was very predictable. Yeah, the Randy Rude one was the probably the most unpredictable one. Because to be eight, I could have seen them go either way. Mm-hmm. And I said that in the thing. I was like, hey, actually, a decent match. Still boring. Well, t- like, they're literally two boring people put together. The thing is, though, like, the thing, if you put them in a good storyline, they're great. They just <laughs> define great storyline. Oh, the. Oh, Jesus. They have had, Randy's had two really good ones. It's the one when he was, um, both of them were Triple H. Or one was John Cena when uh, he started punting John Cena's family. Oh, yeah. That was really good. Yeah. And then the one when he first turned face out of the evolution, that could have been a really good storyline, and they bungled that up. (laughs) They bungled it. (laughs) Bungled? Bungled. And then uh, Bobby Roode, um, Shinsuke one was pretty good, although I don't like like his matches. Oh, that was really good, actually. I really liked that one. But that's just a good storyline because it was heel and it was was Mm -hmm. nice. But Uh, Samoa and Shinsuke was good. In NXT. Okay, we were talking about Bobby Roode and two boring people, not anyone. Oh, well. Yeah, I was talking about that. <laughs> so they're like, Don't mind me. So someone went here. up to uh, head of uh, SmackDown Creative and went, hey, let's make the most boring match we can think of. Oh, we got we got Randy Orton and Bobby Roode. Oh, perfect. There you go. Let's give him 15 minutes. It was long. It was boringly long. It wasn't that bad. But No, I, you're, I think you're giving it I, a hard rap. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice. Um, so let's let's just jump into Fastlane. Um, this was Fastlane to me is one of the most predictable shows of the year because you know you have a general idea at this time of the year what they're going to do for WrestleMania. Um, we knew. I mean, there's no booking logic in having Shinsuke lose. There's no booking logic in having Charlotte lose or AJ Styles lose. Really, the only thing in question was the tag titles and the U.S. title, which, you know, on a full pay-per-view, you want a little bit more drama than that. 
I I was just mad about the tag team title one. That was that one was dumb. It's just because you lost the title. No, it wasn't even that. It was just a dumb booking of it. Like I understand the reason they wanted like the Bludgeon Brothers. I don't know why they couldn't have a winner, and then do the Bludgeon Brothers thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they the win that they just come out and I'm like, oh cool. Like it's don't just end it in the middle. Sorry, sorry. Um, Jeez, talking in the middle of your sentence. Yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> no, I just don't like that they. I don't like no contests. No contests are ridiculous. I don't like time draws either. No time draws. If you tell a good story, are great. I don't know about great. I mean, I mean, I like. If you have a sixty minute, I will usually go in overtime. I mean, if, I liked like Okada Omega too. Really liked it. I just didn't like that it ended. In, I'd I rather. Think, I'd rather have Omega. Story. I'd rather have Omega lose that and then beat him in the third one. Yeah, I think that. Yeah, but if they did that, then that's just they're taking that. I like the the no time draw like that was really good because the story that they told and at the end of it, there's they're just so good that no one can win. That's diff, That's a different story than just going. So we're gonna do a suicide. What is it? To, tope suicida. Suicida. <laughs> tope suicida. Whatever. It's the same thing. No, it's, it's all not. Spanish. <laughs> um, <laughs> they do that and then they're just like, oh, Blood Brothers. And I was like, literally as soon as they came out, I was like, cool, great. <laughs> Great way to lose this title. Awesome. Yep. Cause it's, been, it's been a long time since I've been the champion. Yeah, I can't keep it for longer than one pay-per-view at a time. It's yeah, great. You, you're pulling a uh, Sasha. So, yeah. I win it, I won it in cool fashion, though. Technicalities. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way to win that title in cool fashion. Uh, oh, yeah, it is. You could sweep the board, get everyone right. Okay, but that would mean everyone else would be wrong if you're going to sweep them. There's, there's no, uh, we're moving on. Um, I'm sorry. I was, yep, that you was, arguing with yourself at that point. Yep. I did so, so, like I said, predictable show. I it's mean, a B level pay per view. That's what it's supposed to be. Yeah, well, they're getting rid of them, too. The, well, yeah, that's the B level shows. Well, because it, it avoids got, this. Yeah, that I was just about to say. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're not arguing. This is, this is what it. This is what it is. Um, Rusev versus Shinsuke. Oh. What? I was wondering what that writing was, and I realized what it was. Yep, um, Rusev versus Shinsuke. Um, decent match. Rusev is over, and Rusev. I mean, it's. I know it's not breaking news that hey, just in Rusev is over. But I don't know why you're giving me that look. Um, but again, it was like I never thought I would hear dueling chants for Rusev and Shinsuke Nakamura. Rusev is good because, like, back in the day, like when Shinsuke was in NXT, and he was really over, and everyone was. Um, singing his song. Can you please? <laughs> I almost filled the water. <laughs> Continue, sir. <sighs> um, Shinsuke when Shinsuke and- when Shinsuke was really over, um, I couldn't. Um, I think Rusev was nowhere near over. Yeah. Around then. Oh, he was a Rusev. Yeah. Rusev's been over for a lot just recently. Mm. No, recently. But I'll give it like the last. One of the Rusev Day things are like three months ago. Uh, November. we'll say November to be safe. Okay. November to be safe. I don't remember. I will say November to be safe. So I'll say between from October, from probably July, eh, I'll give it June. June to October, he was irrelevant. But before then, I mean, he was still pretty popular. If not, like, he wasn't getting chance, but he was still, like, people were like, no. Oh. He's not getting chance. Well, he never used because he's a foreign heel. Foreign heels don't get chance. Mm-hmm. Unless you become a comedy act, which is kind of well, what he's doing. Jake said something interesting to me. One of our friends who doesn't watch wrestling at all. Oh, God. He, no, it was actually kind of interesting. Usually when you say, Jake told me something interesting, it's usually interesting to you and not me. Continue. Uh, he said Rusev is a more athletic Umaga. No. 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 What? I'll explain. You weren't there. Will you? Much. Yes. Umaga was an okay wrestler. Rusev's way better. Wrestling skill. He said more athletic. I know I'm getting there. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's way more athletic, way more better in the ring. Be- better in the ring. Way by more far. better. Yeah, way better in the ring by far, by like a lot. Uh, he can talk on the mic, which Umaga couldn't do. Um, and he tells a better story. He's he's way better in all aspects. He's not just more athletic, and he's not really related to Umaga because Umaga didn't talk. He was just a Samoan. War. He was essentially a hitman. He did have a monster push, which is just like Umaga did. A monster push is they're not the same person though. It's a different push. I would, it's a foreign I would heel equate, who I would equate, monster push. I would equate Umaga's heel turn or heel push to um, Braun Strowman's essentially. Not as not as grandiose, grandiose, but like the same mm. that way because that's a different. Rusev doesn't get a monster push. He gets a push 
monster pushes is when they are unstoppable. They're just going through people. Rusev struggles with it, mm-hmm. but he just beats people. And plus, their finishers are way different too. One's a submission, and one's a thumb. Well, well yeah, thumb to the neck, a thumb to the Ch- mouth, right? No, no it was a Samoan spike. It's in the neck oh, or the well. chest. It's in this area. And in for the audio area. viewers, it's from my chin to my chest area. The audio viewers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we we really need to like get you in order here. Far I'm more better. Talking. I've had a long day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't. Re- I don't even know if I want to go through fast lane match for match. No, I don't know why. We're st- I thought we were going to go to Raw after we talked about I it. I mean, it's on It's on the sheet there. I understand that I can read. I may not be able to talk well. But, mm. uh, yeah, right. Mm. <laughs> but I can read. Um, but we already went through. Like, we said who won. I mean, okay, we'll just... We, it's, not, it's not saying who won. It's But, like, it's so bland and you didn't miss anything. If, if you watch wrestling even remotely, you could probably guess who would have won these matches. If I would have told, if I would have went like this, you didn't know wrestling. I would have went, all right. How does that feel that that show is the one you lost your title on? I mean, I lost on a match that was BS, but like I'm <laughs> not worried about it because there's no clear winner. It's a BS match because there's no You tell lost st- it on the Randy match. No, because if I would have won this match, I would have won. That's why I lost on this one. Oh, I see what yeah, you're yeah. saying. Yeah. Um, no, because if I told someone, if I told someone going into this match or going into the series, all right, Shinsuke won the Royal Rumble, right? Mm-hmm. He has a match tonight, not for the title, just for the match. Um. He's winning. Yeah, he's winning. Flair is facing Asuka. He didn't know that till the end of it. But no, I had no idea. Flair's facing Ruby Riot and Flair and Fla- I just say Flair. Like, oh, she's gonna keep it. And then AJ Styles has going to face Shinsuke Nakamura at WrestleMania. More than likely, he's in this match. You're gonna guess ninety five percent of those right. The only one you would kind of get wrong is maybe the Rude versus Randy match. I w- I don't I still don't think I would have got the Usos and the New Day were like fifty fifty. Yeah, either but one of them. I'm saying either one that. of them. Yeah, but I'm saying for the most part, you could go over them, go up to someone and be like, "Yeah, you can guess these," and seventy five percent of them would get it right because that's how predictable it was. So they're not missing much. If you watch any ounce of wrestling and you can kind of do predictions, you'll get it right. <laughs> I mean, anyone can do predictions and just yeah, fair. Say what it is. Um, all right, well then we'll just move on to Raw. Oh, because we got to talk about the end of it though. That's the one thing you still about wrestling. Oscar chose who she's fighting at WrestleMania. Every- Cody, we're we're not breaking news here. We're we're trying to give opinions. You, I'm just I know we have an opinion on it. I was gonna say that was What was your opinion? opinion? I'm hundred percent down for it. <laughs> I wish Rhonda would <laughs> It's alright, is that what you want me to say? Essentially no, it's alright. Just... <laughs> Go on. No, I love it though. That's gonna be a great match. That could be a five star match. Am I predicting it? No. But I can see it being a five star match if they do it right. They've never fought, right? Has there ever been a women's five star match? Mm-mm. Nope. Not once. I don't think so. I can guarantee you. There's really been men's five-star matches in WWE, let alone. You mean in WWE or in general? In general. Oh, I doubt it. I think probably the highest one might be a four. I think one of the Sasha Charlotte ones got like four stars. Really? Oh, yeah. good for her. If there was people to do it, Asuka and Charlotte are the people to do it. Mm. Yeah, okay. Make sure I said that right. <laughs> the, All right. The only people that could get five stars. Oh, there we go. The only people that could get five stars is the woman right now that I know of is... Um, Becky, the bit, the bit, I, ha, Becky. Um, Bias. The four horse women, those four mm. can do it with one of them. Asuka. Uh, I'm trying to think of, and then maybe Kari Sade if she has the right person. Possibly. That's a very, yeah. that's a very like outlier. Same thing with Ember Moon. If they have the right person, they could possibly do it. <laughs> outlier as in like, these four could definitely do it. Those two are, meh. Maybe with like Charlotte or Asuka, they could do it. Mm. But even then, meh. Continue. All right, let's jump into Monday Night Raw here. Uh, fast lane, meh. Yeah. If I, if C, I had a... C minus. <laughs> C minus. You were going to ask. If I had to 69. grade... A D69. Nice. Um, if I had to grade... Uh, if I had to grade fast lane, it would be a... Meh. Meh. Just the... the meh. Not. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. yeah. Monday Night Raw. Oh, nice. Um, nice. Monday Night Raw. Um, so Roman comes out, opens the show, and lo and behold, Brock Lesnar still isn't there. What a surprise. And I think I touched on this last week, but I love this angle. I think this is w- one of the best ways to get Roman cheered. Is to boo someone else. Yeah. Yeah. 
Because everything else, I mean, this is what, the fourth year in a row they've tried to give him his crowning moment at WrestleMania? Sounds about right. Yeah, so they've tried a lot. They've tried, I can overcome Brock. That didn't work. Has he beaten Brock like three times now? What? Has he beaten him twice already? Brock? No. Who did he beat? Oh, he went the other I'm an idiot. Continue. This will be the second time he beat him. I thought I mixed it up. My bad. Who did he fight? He fought. He didn't win, though. He fought He Brock. never fought Brock. He never beat Brock. I know, but he was, he was beating him when then. Mm. WWE beating him. He was doing that. And then what was the next match after that? Who did he fight? Triple H. Oh, okay. And then Undertaker. Uh, yeah. Yep. So. Wow, they that's tried, very big. <laughs> they tried. Just think about this. They tried to give him his crowning moment against um, Brock. Brock. And everyone Boom. shot it down. And then Seth was like, nah. Oh, Seth was just the in the right place at the yeah, right time. Got lucky with that one. Um, he's still a great worker, but I'm wearing a shirt you, right now. You know what I just realized? Um, well, but hang on. Yeah, yeah, so good. then they're like, all right, well, that didn't work. How do we end WrestleMania with Roman Reigns holding the title in confetti? Hey, Triple H, get on in here. We, we need, need you to put someone over. We need you to win the Royal Rumble. Oh, God, that was horrible. So, again, WrestleMania 32 ends with Roman Reigns. WrestleMania 33, well, so we had confetti. How about fireworks this year? Uh, Who could we have him beat in the main event for fireworks? Hey, Mark, (laughs) you want to come back? Hey, Mark. Oh, what a bad name. Speak. Oh, can we talk about that real quick? Because I want to just... John Cena called out The Undertaker, obviously. Um, it would have been funny if he would have looked at the camera and goes, Hey, Mark, get off your couch and fight me. I would have, if he would have said that, I'm done. You win. I don't yeah, care. That was, that was the one line he didn't cross. I hope, I want him to cross it, and I don't know I why. I don't really want him to cross that line. Oh, if he did, just, oh. No, I want him to call him Mark, and then the other dick comes out, and then, like. So, the point is, yeah, is point. that they're trying to get Roman over. I think this is the most viable way. Um, that I can remember since they've tried this whole Roman experiment. Um, moving on, uh, Miz TV, Finn and Seth out in the fire pants are still living. Oh, who else brought fire? Oh, was it Becky that also had fire pants or fire outfit too? Yeah. I think so. I don't know what the I deal is. I hate it so much. It just looks so bad. <laughs> the fire pants are bad. So was Becky's was terrible too. Cause it was like it looked like Carmella. It looked like Carmella's outfit, and Seth Rollins had a baby, and then Becky's came out, and I was like, "What is going on?" So Seth and Finn come out, and you have the water bottle on the way. I was gonna reach for it. And I was like, "No, in my luck, I'd punch it." And then yep, and then it would go all over my laptop, and it would be over. That, yep, the show would be over. <laughs> That'd be it. Um, so yeah. I still don't know what I think about the blue ballot. Point is, um, he was Miz was trying to do the whole "you should fight him" and "you should fight him" so I can keep my title. You know, classic Miz stuff, which I love. By the way, Miz is probably the most believable, best heel on the roster. You have a problem with that? He's thinking. That's fair. Yeah. So. And eventually it oh, works. Brock. Brock could be a... He's not really a heel, though. He's just kind of Brock. He's kind of an a-hole. Yeah. But he's not a heel. Mm, yeah, I guess. Yeah, he's probably, probably the only good heel to be age. He's a really good heel. Yeah. Nah, he's really good. Miz? No, nah, he's good. Yeah, he's amazing. He's kind of boring in the ring, though, too. Nah, he's solid. He, you, could, you know what's funny? Is, you know what? It sounds mean. But you could tell who was raised up through WWE perform it like that one and the people on the indies by how they wrestle why is that because wwe brought up are just like really boring they're not boring they just don't have any like they don't go they don't do risks i'm not saying like do a you know tope suicida i said that wrong again i'm gonna say it wrong no you actually did nailed it, it right? that time it was what uh trent beretta did in uh wrestle kingdom well i uh, 11 12. which one do we want we want what we the want, last one no the one before that one 11 right 11 was when the they fought the Young Bucks. When, yeah, that was yeah, 11. When he did that tope, by two, uh, tope Suicida on his back, straight onto his back. I'm not saying do that. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not saying do Ooh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I'm saying is like, if you watch the Miz match, he does the same, what, five spots? He's almost like a, mm-hmm. a worse Cena. No, it's probably not a worse Cena. I think it's WWE like wants, Cena. they want like longevity out of people. Which so is, they're like, that makes sense, but sometimes, you know, you gotta, mm-hmm. gotta put on a show. 
Yeah, like I mean, for instance, Finn. Uh, you know he. Same. Well, and I think that's a WWE thing. More I'm pretty than, sure it is. I'm just saying that's what you say it, and I keep thinking about it, he does like. The yeah, same. he he has the same like sequences on like a Raw match, but then if like a pay per view match, he'll throw in like um, his 1916 that he does, even I don't know though it's called that. You it's don't for that. like the Irish Revolution or like, something. You told, me, you told me that. Um, time, I forget. <laughs> which actually the 1916 is actually his brain buster that you, I don't think he does anymore. I don't think you're allowed to do that as far as I know. You do a brain buster? Oh, you mean the one straight on his head? No. Okay. Yep, a bloody Sunday. That's what it is. Um, cool. cool th- that was his finish in Japan. That's Point cool. is, cool is that um, he he throws a little something extra for a pay-per-view match usually. He doesn't do a suicide dive a whole lot on Raw. He does it every now and then. Um, what are you doing? I'm waiting for you to do it. I'm dancing. I'm having fun. Continue. Why do you get uh, it awkward when you point it out? I'm trying to have fun. Dad. That's how you have fun? Just dancing. It's a good move. Just continue. Why are you going to point it out? Cody's just gyrating and just kind of moving. No, this isn't gyrating. Gyrating's around. I'm just shaking up and down. I'm moving my shoulders. I'm getting loose. <laughs> just continue. You make it a seed out of it. Cause you, because you're... Okay. Um, But he still throws in... Uh, something extra for like a pay-per-view match is my point where Miz kind of doesn't he's still I think solid uh I don't think he another thing I don't think he needs to because when you're a heel I'm not it saying doesn't do fl- matter I'm not saying do flash just change just add new moves it is the same like six moves does a crappy DDT those kicks yeah that are kind of over they're over kind of but I, I'm tired of seeing them every match every match he has he does the kicks mm-hmm. and he misses every time yep. um what else does he do his finisher is boring. I don't like his finisher. Better than Bobby Roode's, but still terrible. That looks like a mid. You know what his finisher looks like? It looks like a mid two thousand five, like two thousands finisher. Exactly what it looks like. It looks like he hasn't updated it since two thousand five. Does that make sense? No. I'm trying to think of other people who have kind of the same thing. Um, like John Cena's is kind of the same way. That looks. That's because you know, like if you look through the arrows, the kind of moves that they do, like. The rock and wrestling era would just be like a slam or something like that or like a leg drop or uh, some basic move off the top rope, like a body splash. Mm-hmm. That's like that. And then like the attitude era was more like brawl and stuff like that. Like your finisher would be like a brawling move or like the stunner, like an aggressive mm-hmm. or like some sort of like head related where you could do that. And then the mid 2000s was slant like top shoulder slam, stuff like that. Top, that's not what you call it. What am I talking about? <laughs> top shoulder slam. <laughs> it sounds right. <laughs> It sounds right. What am God. I thinking of? Like, <laughs> no, but, I don't even know what you're thinking of. You know what I'm talking about? Though. The moves like that, like when you like basic moves, like like fireman's carry. Is that what you're talking? Yeah, about? Yeah, but not like on your knees, but stuff like that. But moves that are like they're not like overly athletic, but they're not overly strong. You know what I'm saying? Like they're not they're not a test of strength. Athletic. This <laughs> is this is going downhill real quick. They're not overly athletic, and mm-hmm. they're not overly strong, but mm-hmm. they're not. Equal, I'm just saying. Like they're, they're, it's not like a military press catching them, slamming them. That's that'd be like mm-hmm. a great show. Of power. It's more just like a quick kind of move, you know, something like that, or like a kick or a punch, stuff like that. And then nowadays you have all the flying stuff, all the really cool, like, like Finn's kind of stomping. That's they don't do that. They didn't do that in the, you know the mid 2000s or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, Shinsuke's knee thing, they don't do that. Yep. Uh, even Daniel Bryan's has flying knee thing. That was really cool. Like. Like Evan, I know this is old, but Evan Bourne, when he did the, he used to do that. Shooting the, Star Press. Shooting Star Press. I think he called something else. I was trying to think of what the name was. Airborne. That's what it was called. I don't like, his, cool, his normal name, Matt Seidel, is cooler than Evan Bourne. Evan Bourne sounds fake. Yeah. I know it's wrestling. It's fake. But <laughs> Matt Seidel's a cool mm. name, though. Like, it's a normal name. But anyway, stuff like that. You can tell the transition, what I'm saying. Like, if you pick someone out and their moves, Randy Orton's is kind of like that. It's just an RKO. Yeah, but that's so over, though. Because he does it out of nowhere. Same thing with the super kick. If you do it out of nowhere, I was like, oh. Mm-hmm. Kind of like in the fast lane match when uh, Xavier took that super kick to start the match. And I was like, oh. And then he got like two count. And I was like, oh, well. But anyway, that's all I was trying to say. Long rant about moves. I don't even remember. Oh, about the Miz. Yeah, the Miz. Because the, the Miz's Miz. move is just like, meh. Like, it's so like boring and just, mm. it doesn't look like it hurts first off. And I know it's not supposed to look like it hurts. It kind of is. Yeah, it's supposed to look like look the part. But it doesn't even look like it. Like, it doesn't look like it hurts at all. Like, Shinsuke is like, I know it's fake, but like, you could look like it. Like, oh, you could break his nose. And he did, didn't he? He did to. Bro- Samoa Joe. He broke his nose or something like broke that. Broke his jaw. Yeah. You don't see someone breaking a jaw with the, mm. you know, whatever it's called. 
skull-crushing finale. Yeah, I'm not going to give it its name because it's terrible. It's not even, why would you give it a cool name like that for something not cool? Face bump finale. That's Face what palm finale. That's what it's called. <laughs> Dad All puns. right, let's, let's move on. So Dad the, puns of honor. So <laughs> what is going on with Braun Strowman and the whole tag team division? Because they don't have one. R- Raw literally doesn't have a tag team division. It's they literally all put over Braun. Oh yeah, one person. The entire yeah. against eight. <laughs> against eight. Eight people. Their entire tag team is eight. What did I say mm-hmm. when I said I said it last week on the and you can quote it. Mm-hmm. What did I say in order to have a a very basic minimum for a tag team division? How many do you need? Do you remember trivia? Real quick. I think five. Yes, five, five is what I said because you can have one feud with the top one. And then the other three can battle over and they'll come in, you know. But you got to add more. So, re- respectively, you should have eight. That's how many you should have normally. They have four. Barely. It's two, meh, yeah, and ugh. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's two contenders. It's Which would be? If they book them right, it should be. It's two well, th- technically, they do have five. If you count the bar. Oh, I was counting the bar in there. Was the bar not in there? No, the, the bar wasn't in the match. Okay, then those then five. They do have five. Then my bad. Mm. The bar is in the, the champion, so they're obviously the two that I was talking about. And then I was counting the revival as the top contenders because they can actually go. And then Luke Gallows is the me. Um, then Rhino and he's later on there, right? They're me. And then who's the other one? Am I missing? Oh, Titus Brand. Yeah, no, they're not. They can go home. They got title shots. Let's not forget that. I, if I if I Multiple. showed you a list of people who've gotten title shots that are awful, you'd be like, yeah. Mm, I would tell you to shut up. Jack Swagger got a title shot. He was world champion. Yeah, you audibly laughed at that. I'm laughing because that's dumb. That's I'm sa- I'm, You mm. just proved my point is what I'm saying. Yeah. Like anybody can get a title shot. No, oh, it's so stupid. Um, let's move on. Um, I don't understand what they were doing with Braun. I don't get it. Try it, to put him over without. I get that. But then I'm guessing Elias is going to be his partner. I, that's the only thing I can think of. Elias is my favorite. I love Elias. He is getting a lot better. Like, it's just funny now. He's also kind of, like, getting better, like, playing the guitar, too. Well, yeah, if you play it every day for, <laughs> true, true, for yeah. however long he's been doing it. Do you think it. he knew how to play before? The, or they're just like, hey, get he a He probably knew how to noodle. And then... Is that just messing with the... Yeah, just... Do you, probably knew I hope he doesn't know anything about it. They're just like, so you're going to play guitar. That's your gimmick now. And he goes, I don't know how to play this. Figure it out. Hmm. Oh, nah. uh, all right. <laughs> I can see him just picturing the back, just. That was the sound, right? I'm just gonna go out there and do it. And then, you know, he did an NXT for years and years and years. Yeah, he was there for what? Three years? Two years? A long time. I feel like after, like, I feel like after three years, you're like, so are you just gonna cut me, or am I going? No, I'm not. Okay, cool. Then they cut him. Yeah, I remember seeing him in St. Augustine like two times. Oh, I saw. Yeah, we saw. Yeah, him. he talked about the carousel and how much he hated St. Augustine. Fair. Yeah. It's not wrong. It's a carousel. Okay, so we Cody mentioned this earlier, but uh, John Cena cut one of my favorite promos of the year so far. I, lo- I loved it. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's I, know, so, I understand you liked it, but that, that's like... Saying, I really liked it. It's like the second day of... Uh, it's, it's March. It's the second day of like... Just, what the... Th- third month. Yeah. That's, that's, that's like eight Raws. That's ten Raws. <laughs> And it was my favorite promo. All right, continue. Um, Busting your nuts. I don't know why. Um, Mustard in is hilarious. Or you're getting awkward. And continue. So he delivers one of my favorite promos of the year. Should have called him Mark, though. No. If you would have called him Mark, tell me you wouldn't have marked out. I would have been like, that's too much. Oh, I would have laughed. I would have been like, that's great. I would have said that's the best promo of the the whole year. So he actually kind of sold me a little bit i was like they wouldn't do this but uh he was saying that he's gonna go as a fan and just goes a <laughs> buy a ticket runs out in the crowd he's like i'm gonna be drinking with this guy at wrestlemania give me a sip sips it it was great um, the only way that would i, I would have laughed if it wasn't like if it wasn't a beard it was like a dip cup and it threw up a line it was me. a clear plastic cup hey you never know people dip in weird places so you're going to tell me, no, we're, st- we're stopping the show. You're going to tell me that there's a clear kids, cup. Kids, let me have it. 
Nope. Kid is, kid is, Clear plastic kid is, let cup me have with something. beer in it. Never let me have anything and ever. And you should be is. cautious of this clear cup with beer in it because there might be something you can't see. Of someone else. If it's someone else, he's probably a plant. So it's, I mean, it's probably not. He a, didn't look like a plant. <laughs> now, was he hype? Was he hype? Yeah, he was real hype. I didn't see him go to the crowd. I just saw the, uh, I saw the promo and then I saw that he drank a beer and I was like, that's great. But that's like saying there could be chew in this water bottle here. Yeah, but I know there's you, clearly you don't not. Dip. There's I know clearly you, you didn't not. know the fan that had it. The guy could have been. It's you're, you're literally look, going you into in you're going into something that I just made a quick little joke about, and this nope, is why because people, it's ridiculous. You're ridiculous. You can't just let something slide. You always got to make a big deal out of it. You make a mountain out of a molehill all the time. Because your molehill is in what the, is, is in, in what is in the middle of New York City where it doesn't belong. This there could be a mole in New York City. This, do you know how big Central Park is? Pretty big. Continue your stories. Or finish talking about your Next story. time you drink a beer, make sure there's no chewing tobacco in it. Um, <laughs> from, your friend, <laughs> yeah. from your friends at the Tuesday podcast. Um, oh, I can't believe that. So anyways, so then uh, calls out The Undertaker, makes Mark. it really clear that uh, it's not WWE oh. stopping it. What was your favorite line of it? Please tell me about the same one. Um, my favorite line of that promo? Yeah. Was a uh, balls in your court, dead man. Time to see if you're still alive. Oh, that's your favorite one. Yeah, my favorite one when he goes, and we know you still got like the strength because you're posting <laughs> workout videos on your wife's Instagram. I was like, oh well, yeah, <laughs> great. So he, got so him. he, I think that was the first time on WWE TV they that they that broke kayfabe. No, on him. Technically not. What was another time when he took off his stuff and he literally made out with his wife on TV. Well, I meant on TV, not on pay-per-view, I guess. Yeah. But it's WrestleMania. So it's probably more viewers than they have in Raw. Oh, yeah. So, but I mean, it, it, I'm just saying they're stripping away some of that to mystique. To be fair, they took the mystique away when he became, you know, rolling, keep rolling, rolling, rolling with that song. That, what's it American called? Badass? Yeah, that one. I mm. love this theme song. That's my favorite theme song. Ugh. I loved it. I don't like the gimmick, but that theme song was hype. I used to sing it all the time. Or The Bodies at the Floor, that one, too. I think that was either it was either the video games like main track or it was SmackDowns like main track and I was all about it. Two thousand two Cody was way into it. I've, I've, have I told that story in the podcast? Probably not. The ladder one. What the ladder match that I had with my brother? The actual ladder match that I had with my brother. I think you have actually. Have I? No, that was that was around that time when that that song was popular. So. Mm. <laughs> was, was that your uh, entrance music? Oh, it was. The rolling one was. Just keep rolling, rolling. And I'd come out. <laughs> Jesus. Um, so let's move on oh, here. Uh, Finn took on Seth. I'm not going to play the sound effect again. Uh, you're welcome. I already, I already played welcome. it once. They're welcome, honestly, at this point. You're played too much. Here's a problem. I'd do it maybe once a show. Bet? Bet. Oh, I'll bet you. You do it way more than once a show. You did it like four times in a row on a show one time. Because you kept saying Finn, and you're like, no, 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 no. and you no. give us this look, you give us the SpongeBob look. Up. No, that never happened. Look it up. No, that never happened. Yeah, I did, Brad. But continue. Um, so Finn and Seth uh, had a really good match. Obviously, uh, what? <laughs> just laughing at me already. It's just the comedy, obviously, which they did. It was fine. Just, They're two good workers together. Who's better? I mean, that's just opinion at that point. But I if. Mean, <laughs> I, I think Finn's a better worker, but I think they're both Why? worker A and worker B. Like, there's no... To me, they're on equal plane. No, you say Finn's but probably better. I think he's... Can you not talk with a mouthful on the podcast, please? That'd be great. Continue. Um, I just think Finn's, like, smoother with his... Uh, with, like... Sometimes when Seth is working, I feel like... Uh, like, he, his body just moves awkwardly sometimes. You know, like, have you seen a super kick? Kind of just looks off, doesn't it? Yeah. He's really thinking. It just looks a little weird. I was, I was, thinking, people, I was thinking, weird. thinking of people's super kicks and I was trying to compare them. Because yeah. the Usos have really good ones. Yeah. The mm-hmm. Usos. That's, I'm about to say, it. you ready for this ballsy claim? Hold on. There you go. Hey. Give, it, give it to us. I think the Usos might have the best super kick in the world. That's an arguable one. Who's better than them? The Young Bucks are the closest one, but I still think the Usos... Because I feel like the Usos throw it out of nowhere, though. 
most of the time. Like that one, the, the one that had on uh, Xavier Woods looked real good. See, I feel the offset. I feel like theirs are way more predictable than the Young Bucks. We weren't. Talk- we just said which one looks more realistic. I said theirs is realistic. No, I, it looks the it looks really good. Is what I'm saying. They don't. They, I rarely see them miss. I should say. I've seen the Young Bucks miss a couple times. Not 100 percent their fault because they fight people that are like five three. The one, I, I just disagree. The, you're always gonna disagree. That's the point of this podcast is to disagree with each other. Yeah, I, no, the Bucks definitely have the best super kicks in the business. Yeah. Five, sure. Go home. And I mean, like, go in your room and turn the, turn this podcast off and go home. Like, no. that's All right, we're done, guys. Thank you. Um, we're not actually done. Don't, don't leave. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. Um, anyways, uh, Seth was going for a superplex into his Falcon Arrow, Finn, small packages. So I'm, no. con- I'm convinced that uh, Paul Smackage was dressed up as Finn and came out to fate because what a beautiful small package that was. It was amazing. I didn't think you'd actually only, say it. Only Paul Smackage could pull uh, off Paul a... Paul Smackage is the best. Only Paul Smackage could pull off it's such a beautiful small package. <laughs> Cody's not okay. Oh, uh, that's too funny. That whole that whole thing is too funny. So let's move on. Uh, so Nia Jax uh, squashes a local jobber who did not look like she belonged in the ring. Um, but... In what way? Like, like what way? Just like, was a bad wrestler or was she just like really small? <laughs> she was not a good wrestler. Was it bad? Like, was a match she, bad, or was she like? Could she sell well at least? She sold all right. She served her purpose. That's what I was asking. Was she a fine jobber? Is what I'm saying. Yeah, but she was just like not in ring shape. It wasn't good. What do you mean by ring shape? I think you know exactly. I'm gonna what make I mean. you explain it. What do you mean by ring shape? I I don't. I'm not going to. I think you know exactly. <laughs> Explain what I'm to me what about. you mean by ring shape. Bud. She didn't appear to be in ring shape, <laughs> which is what. What does that mean? You say it. She did not appear to be physically fit. You're giving me that look. You can give it to me all you want, and that's what I'm going with. Um, before the match, um, Alexa, you know, talks to Naya, tries to get on her side again. You know, we've seen this song and dance a few times um but then after the match um for whatever reason um th- in kayfabe it was that alexa had an interview scheduled um but what ended up happening was it she just popped up on the titan tron randomly talking to mickey james backstage just just because you know a personal conversation just shows up on the jumbotron because why not yep Yep, this all happened. So then she tells Mickey that she just uses Naya and she's manipulating her, all this good stuff. See, when I try and defend wrestling, which I don't because I don't have to, but when I do, it's hard to defend that. Like when someone goes, it's fake. Yeah, I know. And then what about this? Yeah, it's <laughs> it's one of those things. It's like when you have like, <laughs> try to word this right. It's like. It would be like you having a kid that's like really like unathletic, and then just doing something. I think you're like, yeah, it, he does that, or like a kid, a kid that's really clumsy and then falls down and breaks half the house. You're like, yeah, it, it just happens. So you just have to like deal with that. Like he's a great kid, but you know at some point this he's is gonna, a really weird analogy. Yeah, I couldn't think of one quicker. So he like falls through a table. You're like, oh, it happens. I mean, he's a great kid, but he breaks a lot of stuff. That's what it is. It's just stupid stuff that you have to deal with, mm. like wrestling. That's all I was trying to say. It's really bad. It. I don't. I don't know. I just. It. I liked the. I wish she would have found out a different way that was a little bit more like her would have been realistic. Like, but it would have been funny if they would have like. <laughs> it was those who talking, and then they just pan over, and then I just like. Cool. The hell, guys. <laughs> <laughs> like maybe, maybe like if you wanted it because they're trying to turn her face apparently if they well i was gonna tell you about that yeah but i because i was gonna mm-hmm. go into it the segue was gonna be like she would be saying they have like a cake that says like happy friend anniversary it's like oh no so here's here's what really happened um <laughs> instead of that idea did you cry um again let me oh, let me just explain so alexa and mickey well, Charlie Caruso comes in and they're like, we were supposed to have an interview and that mic's been on the whole time. And they were like, cool. No, they were like, oh, and they dip, they bail. So then two seconds later, it felt probably like 
10 seconds later. Uh, Naya comes storming in. Where is she? Where? And she's throwing everything and throwing suitcases, literally like full speed, just hucking suitcases. Okay. I like was athletic, like just whipping them. Oh, yeah. That's great. Um, and so I was like, oh my God, like. That's better this than, girl's going going crazy. And I was that. like, I don't know if that's their version of turning her face. or So then she's throwing things. Where is she? Where is she? Screaming the whole time. Like, is it a cry murder. scream or is it like a... Kind of a cry scream. <sighs> um, and then she finds the Little Miss Bliss jacket and just rips it off of the... Oh, if she would have ripped it in half. Oh, that would have been real cool. I think it's leather, so I don't know. That's, that's pretty... If she would have ripped it in half. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, the p- point is, is that uh, I don't know if th- they're trying to turn her face from this. Okay, you you saw how they did that. I want to tell yep. you how I think it would be. Not even a face, but tell me which one you think would be better. All right, here we go. No, I'm not booking it. I'm literally just. Oh, all right. It was no. I was literally just doing this one event. Like this. If you, which one do you think would have been better? I wanted to do an face? impromptu Cody books later. <laughs> if uh, if which one do you find better? If they would have went to this, like what that happened there, or. If it would have wouldn't have been like randomly popped up, but it would have been like you know how they have the backstage kind of thing, and somehow they're talking backstage, and there's a camera there. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. It's like that, but you can hear their voices, and they do the same thing, same like talking, like oh I used her, and then you just turn around, and then like Nia just had like a cake that said like Happy Friend Anniversary, and then she's like oh, and then just like threw it on the floor, just like I hate you, and then just like ran after her, and then they just ran away. So you're better? gonna, yo, I. <laughs> I'm gonna go with WWE on this. That's one. what I was saying. I was. Like, I think it would. Have been, it would have just made me really laugh if she would have just been saying just. Yeah, a big monster, oh. a person who has a monster push. Oh, she's not having a monster push. She has a. She regularly smashes jobbers. Regularly. You know what? One word I have to say to that. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. That would be like that'd be like beating up on the Browns and be like, "Yeah, I'm a really good football team." No, it's the Browns. <laughs> well, they're trading for everybody, but um, I'm talking about a lot. <sighs> yep. <sighs> You're getting so heated over there. It's ridiculous. <sighs> um. So I don't know. If they're trying to turn on face, but it. I like the idea. I don't like the execution. That's that's my take on that. It was just kind of. It's fair. It was awkward. Um. The last thing for Monday Night Raw next week is Ultimate Deletion. What? What are you? I'm warming it up. Warming it up. Delete. Delete. All right, stop that. Stop. Continue. You got to do it. So, so for everyone listening on uh, <laughs> iTunes, um, I said warming up. They know what I'm doing. If you know I anything about, do, I don't think they. If do. anyone says Matt Hardy, the first instinct you do is you do the delete sign. I shouldn't have to say that. These are wrestling fans. Yeah, but then you were kind of spasming. I went like this. I were, warmed it up. I was like, I'm warming it up and. There it is. You know what I'm doing? I shouldn't have to explain my arm movement. For you should a, have to explain everything. No. If you know, if you're watching wrestling and you know what the delete thing is, and you well, yeah, know well, you do the delete hand signal with it. Yeah, but you were saying, I'm warming it up. Like, I'm warming it up. And then I went, delete, 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 delete. <laughs> I don't know why you whisper it. Like you're trying to be secretive because I'm not yell, about it. Because if I yell, it's loud. I already have a loud voice. Well, yeah, then you move the microphone No, because away. then you yell at me for it moving away from my mouth like that. See, that's that's where uh, Just continue. technique comes in, Cody. Oh, <laughs> Where's Vinny? I need to. I need him to be the buffer. Mm-hmm. You stress you, me. Out. You wish Vinny was here. I do. Until he gets here, and then you. No, I'm fine with him for a little it. bit, and then he just he uh-huh. gets on. My Ultimate deletion. Next week, we'll see. They're we'll not see, saving we'll see it. The, we'll see if the low-level writer, who's friends with Gary. <laughs> oh no! If Gary gets his hands on <laughs> Ultimate Deletion, oh no! Oh no! All right. Um, <laughs> that would be the worst thing. But to happen. no, we'll see if they listen to my uh, my uh, multiple Matt Hardy bookings to see if they did the ultimate deletion right. So we'll see if they if they did what I said. Someone's listening. <laughs> well done. Thank you. I'm actually like hope hopefully optimistic, but cautiously optimistic about ultimate deletion. You can't be both of those. Those are two different things. <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah, you can be both. You can't be optimistic and cautious at the same time. You've never heard of cautiously optimistic? No. It's, it's a, it's a thing. Synonyms. Synonyms that's mean that's the same thing, that, buddy. <laughs> Antonym, sorry. Yep. Um, that's like being like happily angry. Like, you can't be both. 
It's two different things. But cautiously optimistic, though, is like I'm happy about it, but like I'm still. But you said I'm not fully committing to it. What do you what what you used to? What did you say? You said cautiously. I said cautiously optimistic. And then you said another word though. You well, said, I said I'm also hopeful too that it goes well. Continue. That's weird. I don't. I don't understand where where you're. I'm losing you at. You're losing me all over the place. Apparently. All right. Continue though. I think it'll be fine. We'll see how it goes. If they do it, if they. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying if they do it right. I mean, I'm worried because the uh, House of Horrors didn't go very well. So. Yeah. If that's anything to judge on, we're in trouble. If we see a fridge, a very awkwardly clean fridge in a very dirty house. We're gonna have to talk about what it. What did it say on the fridge? Like behind you or run or Something. I'm here. Or any one of it said something like follow something the about, buzzards. The what? Follow the buzzards. That's, no, I didn't say that. No, no, I was saying, I was trying white. to think. Of, it said like something like horror movie, like random thing. It was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it said like uh, the run or something like that. Some stupid. Yeah, I'm. It was, I think it's I'm. You here. could tell they just threw dirt at it. It wasn't. Oh, like, it's a bit bad. It wasn't naturally. The dirt. whole thing was bad. Not the whole thing. Some of it was good. The whole thing was bad. Not the whole thing. Some of it was bad. Go back and watch it. 75% of it was bad. It wasn't okay. all bad. I can't wait to go back and watch that. You weren't even there. <laughs> yeah, you didn't even know. <laughs> you were actually you were actually there. Um moving on to SmackDown Live. Um oh that was bad too. The projections. Yeah, on that's the ring. that's a lot. Yeah. Um moving on to SmackDown. So AJ opens the show, As he does, faces always. a very over Rusev. Uh I'm gonna say he, that every time because it ba- it boggles my mind how over Rusev Day is. It's crazy. Let's see how they bungle this one up, though. Because they don't know how to book Rusev. As per usual. Yeah. yeah. Um, but AJ bungle. going over. As he should. Yeah. Yeah, he should. Well, actually, now that I think about it, I can't actually... I know Shinsuke got the last laugh, but I can't remember what exactly happened. I remember... They, I remember I'm they, put on the spot here. No, I remember uh, AJ was given a, a promo, mm-hmm. and then Shinsuke said something, and then he essentially just blew off Shinsuke. Mm. He was like, Psh. and then Shinsuke did that little quirky smile that he does with his mouthpiece in. He's like, I don't oh know. no, I can't do it. I oh can't do it. no, you know what I'm talking about, though, right? I know he what does you're that. talking that about, like, but that was a bad attempt. I couldn't do it. I either. don't have the natural charisma that he does. <laughs> he doesn't have like good like like talking charisma. He just has like body charisma. It's, it's the weird, weird how that works. It's kind of how Andre was a little bit. Like he just had like the body charisma. Andre the Giant? Yeah, mm. he was like seven foot tall and he was massive. Yeah. Just because I like that, it just has like. I just remember the trailer food. for the the Andre. Like he knew how to communicate in other ways. <laughs> just a <that> mean gene. <laughs> um. Anyways, um. Moving on. Uh. Me with you right now is just that side. That's. Gender. A, goes over Bobby Roode. How, Talk about a bad week for Bobby Roode. <laughs> yeah. Lose your title and then you lose clean on. So Smackdown. what's the chances that this becomes a triple threat at a? There are so many. I told you, that wouldn't be the first time. WrestleMania 2000. I'm, I'm not. Oh, yeah, 2000. Every one of them. We've already talked about this a thousand times. Except for the... <laughs> except for the, the women's match. Which was Terry Reynolds versus... Uh, Sable. Sound it out. There you go. Sable. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was terrible. Yeah, and then the, the RKO out of nowhere on gender after the match. I don't... I don't know. Oh, after this one. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah after this one. Um, his fast lane. Bobby Roode did his finisher. Honestly, this whole U.S. title picture, I I actually liked the match at fast lane. It wasn't it wasn't too bad. Um, it I was expecting a lot worse from the match at fast lane. You know who should, they should be giving a push for the U.S. title? Guess, Chad Gable. He, you already said that. I know. I just want people to know that he needs to get a title push because I feel like he has so much charisma that they're just like not letting him do it. Yeah, they're getting jobbed out too. So I know. Mm. I'm just oh. I'm so, I'm so oh. tired of these tag teams, mm-hmm. and then they're gonna add another one with the cruiserweights. Like speaking of cruiserweights, though, it's you, it's a good time to you be hear about a, Cedric Alexander though. No, he's in the because uh, I think who else? There's one more match, but he's in the finals for the. That doesn't surprise me. I know I, he needs to get it because I think he's gonna do great with it. Mm. Told you, I told you. If there was one person that was originally a 205, not someone that like Roderick Strong that they brought in. Mm-hmm. I said, if there's anyone that could transfer into like a normal, like a normal spot on the roster, and not be treated as a cruiserweight, is Cedric Alexander. His moveset yeah. is amazing. His finisher is. When I'm talking about, oh wow, that looks like it would hurt. His mm. looks like it would be brutal. I agree. His Roderick Strong's does. Think about the cruiserweights that look really bad. Oh, Rich Swann's gone, but his spinning like roundhouse kick, 
when he landed Black it? Mass. Was it a black mass? It is, isn't mm-hmm. it? Yep. Well, you can't call it that, though. Well, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I was talking about Alistair Black, everyone, <laughs> just so we're clear. That's two. That's two. Yep. So uh, what was wrong with the local jobber that I fought? She didn't look like in ring shape. What does that mean, Brett? <laughs> um, so the Shane McMahon announcement was obvious. It was obvious. obvious and a pretty big. First of all, I don't buy that Shane's taking a leave of absence. But no, I actually, I didn't buy. I didn't buy it until they did the whole stretcher thing, and I'm like, oh, that makes sense. Oh yeah, speaking of stretcher things, uh, Xavier, he got taken on a stretcher. Yeah. Do you think that was? No, he was at a hospital. Was he actually Mm -hmm. hurt? He had like a spinal bruising, I want to say. You know why? Because that crazy spot that they did at Fastlane. Jesus. They just. Yeah, I I saw them setting it up, and I'm pretty sure we were both over there. It's like, no, they're not doing this. They power bottom straight on his back. I was like, oh, God. On the floor, too. Yeah, it was on the stairs on the floor. Well, you saw him like when they were doing it, he was like breathing really hard. And he was was twitching. Oh. Is he fine though? Like is he walking and stuff? I have no idea. Ooh. Still, hey Cody, taking that spot tonight. No, I'm not. Give that to <laughs> someone else. Um. So this Kevin and Sammy, I, I mean, don't, it's gonna be a good match. I'm down for it. Oh, it's gonna be a great match. I don't buy that. That's the final match yet. I think there's still more storyline developments to go. Well, they have what four weeks, three weeks. It'll be three weeks. I still don't buy it though. I'm so hyped for it. I still don't. I don't buy it. I don't. It, to me, it seems like the story hasn't fully finished. No, it's not, I mean they have three weeks to do it, so I'm sure they'll yeah. something in between there. But I'm so hyped for the match. Though. Hey, at least you're guaranteed one singles match. No, oh, that's true. Two actually, because uh, uh three actually. <laughs> I just realized it. it's Oscar, Charlotte, uh, Shinsuke, AJ, and then Roman Brock. Four. Yeah, there's 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 not that many triple threats as then we once thought. As we was you once thought. I said there was like two. There was the Intercontinental and the US title one. And then maybe a tag team. One of the tag teams will be a triple threat. Who? Oh the who? 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 The, I think it's time. Wait, wait, before you do the, the raw one might be a triple threat. It could be the bar revival and Luke Gallows and Andrew. Mm. That would be a I good doubt match. it though. They wouldn't do the whole Braun thing without. True. Yeah, you're right. So one can hope. Where's the ladder match going to be? There's got to be a ladder match at WrestleMania. No, there doesn't. Yeah, there does. Yeah, there does. That's that's. It just sounded weird. Oh, you know what would be a good ladder match? Is the Intercontinental one. They mm. made it, they made a ladder match. I still don't know if we're going to see the Demon. Because I, I was thinking about this literally earlier today. I was thinking, I was like, if there's no Demon, Seth's going to go over. If there is demon, Finn's gonna go over. No, you don't think? I guess he Finn just winning it without. He doesn't have to win with just. A, he wins all the time without the demon. No, I'm not saying he can't win. I'm just saying to me that's what makes. If you're gonna have Finn go over, it would make sense at WrestleMania no, to it, have the him be the demon. The only reason it would make sense if it was a storyline. He could win by being just Finn Balor. So it's, Intercont- it's not the world title. It's different. Intercontinental. Mm. You don't need to bring out the. You don't need to bring out the demon because you're facing people that you've beaten a lot before. Mm-hmm. You've beaten both those guys multiple times. Yeah. But if you're facing Brock, that's different. Or Roman. Mm-hmm. You know, he's beat Roman, that's Finn. But, I mean, for the most part. You yeah. beat him what, once? once? Beat him once. Mm. He he's one him. and one against Roman. It's even. So he's technically zero, zero. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. That's not that's not how that works. <laughs> well, I'm saying zero, zero is the fact that, like, they're even. So zero, zero is even. They're so one and one is even. It's yeah, they're continuous. Five hundred. Come on, man. Whatever. I don't care. Do you <sighs> do the next segment? Thank you. It's time for the wheel of wrestling. It's time for wheel of wrestling on the Too Sweet Wrestling Podcast. Now, for whatever reason, <laughs> didn't work again. It only doesn't work. <laughs> I don't it it doesn't this. work if we do it on the. Yep, thing. I don't know. I don't know what it, it is. is. It is. What it um. Is. Anyways, so Cody, do you want? Barry Strikes Back, A Different Wing, or Fade Away? As he sips water. The first one. The first one? Barry. Barry Strikes Back. Can I guess? I mean, yeah, pretty I, sure you can get it. I'm not going to let you, though. So, <laughs> I'll let you think about it for a little bit. So, Barry Strikes Back. 
Um, I'm talking, of course, about Barry the Bear. Um, strikes back against Cody Rhodes. I didn't know that was his name. <laughs> yeah, Barry the Bear. <laughs> it's so bad because I know exactly what you're going to say half the time. And you do these stupid titles. They're not stupid. They're cool. There's titles that I do. Ugh. You just tricked me. That, that's, that's what I want. Why, why can't you just... Because yeah. I get that reaction. No, it's, I'm pissed off now. Continue. Oh, oh, oh. Um, so what do you think of this whole I'm build it. with I Kenny love Omega? It so much. But it's probably going to ruin the Bullet Club. So they might you think? It. Oh, yeah. It's going to split you the Bullet Club. You don't think they'll gonna come end, back they're together? Gonna 2000, they're going to 2000 split up the end, the Bullet Club. It's gonna be I a, think that's what they're trying to do. There's going to be a Bullet of. Club Hollywood and a Bullet Club Wolfpack. I'm obviously joking. I'm, Bullet Club Kenny, Bullet Club Cody. Cody. No, it would be Bullet Club Nightmare and then Bullet Club um, Cleaner, something like that. I don't think he does the cleaner anymore. It's like Change the World, I think, is his gimmick now. What? How is that a gimmick? I, I'm just... It'll be whatever their thing is. One name would be like Bullet Club Nightmare and then Bullet Club... Whatever. whatever. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Bullet Club or whatever. It'll probably be, they'll probably go back to the cleaner. That. But you get what I'm saying, though. It'll, it'll, yeah. it'll split them up because they've already done it. As well, the, well, the Bucks have moved to heavyweight to face... <laughs> Kenny and uh, Coda. So, did you know that? I, I'm my yeah. my uh, new. I've been busy with everything. The New Japan mm. is behind a little bit because they, I feel bit. like I know they don't record, but every time I feel like they record so much, and they, you know, what I'm saying, like, mm. I feel like I miss one thing and I miss a bunch. Like, I miss one event and there'll be like 90 things that happen. I'm like, well, all right, cool. Mm. And then by that the time, was on BTE though. I don't. I like I said, I haven't watched it. I don't. It's. I don't like it as much anymore. Anyways, so you did you or did you not see? I saw he was dressed up as a bear because he brought because he, Cody brought him down with him because mm-hmm. it was his like mascot or something. Shoved like that. him, shoved him, and then I know I, I know he did the, gave him a V trigger. I right there. Yeah, I was gonna say that, but yeah, he gave him the V trigger, and then I don't know what happened. I just know he gave him the V trigger. Uh, I saw the brandy made out with him in the middle of the ring. Yep. What? Yep. With Kenny or Cody? yeah, with Kenny. What? And Kenny, arm spread, wasn't doing anything, and Brandy just went after him. Okay, two questions. Three questions. A lot mm-hmm. of questions. And and, oh, like, yeah, there's a lot of questions. One, this. did did she, she actually kissed him, though, right? What? Did Brandy actually kiss Kenny? Yes. Did Kenny... Did he, No-handed it. Yo, low-key, though, I know it's part of the storyline, but low-key, you know Kenny was like, dude, I don't I don't feel comfortable doing this. And Coach's like, just just do it. I don't, just do it. And she's like, I don't... I'm just... <laughs> and then... Oh, I could see him doing that. Kenny's a respectable there, guy. Oh yeah, there was a he cut another promo too about uh, he's like it probably wasn't the first time. <laughs> and I was like, whoa! I saw, I saw. Whoa! Like, oh, it, it's kind of it's not really. It just whoa. reminded me of Brandy and Cody. She goes, oh, I wonder why people keep sliding in my DMs. There's a picture of her in like a bikini, and then Cody just replied with boobs. Period. I was like, that's ah, funny. <laughs> I don't like. I I couldn't do that, man. I don't know how the yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't know, know how, how they do it either. either. No, no idea. No, but I, I feel like it's just a bro move that, like, that wasn't planned that he did that. He's just like, Cody, I just wanted you to know I'm not enjoying this. So just. <laughs> no, she was doing the whole leg in the air thing and everything. But he did. But he yeah, still, he did the arm That's spread. what I'm saying. He's, a, he's mm-hmm. a real bro. That's a real bro right there. The, I, I mean, he could have, you know, turned away. I mean, you probably got told to do it. Though. Like, the same part of the oh, story. You have to do it. No, but I'm if, if you were to do it, that's the I'm best way. I'm aware like, of that. <laughs> like, if, if your friend that you did that, I'd be like, oh, that's a, that's a real bro. You have to do it, but like anyway, continue. Yeah, Cody, do you want a different wing fade away or return on my mind? I don't know any of them. What's going on? Because I really don't know that any of them now. I knew the first one. I just didn't know you called. His name was Barry. <laughs> Barry the Bear. <laughs> it's probably the best name ever. Um, we'll go a different wing. Um, Kid Rock. Is in oh the Hall my of Fame. I saw. I was so pissed. Why? Tell me. About I hate it. Kid Rock. So Kid Rock is the worst person, worst person, and worst singer ever. He ruined WrestleMania 25. <laughs> Go Sing- on. I've never seen one person single handedly tear down an entire show. The only person I can compare it to is uh, Jake the Snake when he got drunk and then ruined a show in like '99 because he was pissed drunk. He sang. For no 15 minutes saying divas, and they're divas at the time, because that's what they were. There was no, it was, I think. The PC police are not here right now. You're good. No, I'm saying that's what they called them. That's what the, they were divas. It was a diva championship match. 
and he sang them. No one got an entrance. He sang them down to the ring, but his music is trash. So mm. bad. Doesn't deserve to be in any Hall of Fame, let alone a wrestling Hall of Fame, because he sang once. It's terrible. Well, it's a celebrity wing. I hate the celebrity wing. I think it's dumb. I don't get it. I think a celebrity... You should have a celebrity wing if they've actually done something. Like, if you're in the celebrity ring, it should be like Lawrence Taylor. Um, I'm trying to think of people that fought. Uh, Wendy Rector. Did she, wasn't, she, did she sing? What are you looking at me for? Go on. Keep uh, naming people. It's it's harder than it is. Um, <laughs> you want to say it. I'm not going to say it. Did he, he, didn't That's actually, what I, did he actually fight, though? Did he, I'm talking about people that actually he, did stuff in the ring, though. He did stuff in the what, ring. What did he do? He got a takedown. He literally tackled Vince no, and started doesn't count. Snoop going to town. Down. No, I'm talking about actually fought in and the ring. And then he I'm, shaved Vince in the middle of the ring. No. I'm not even saying that because I don't like him. I'm saying that because I don't, I don't, even, I don't think it should have an mm. actual match, is what I'm trying to say. Like, Lawrence Taylor had an actual match. That's true. He I made mean, a yeah, yeah. WrestleMania with uh, Bam Bam Bigelow. Mm-hmm. Um, Randy Richter fought in a match, or she was very. Integral. I think even Floyd could get in. Floyd could get. In. He had a match with Big Show. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So did um. <laughs> he's Muhammad going Ali. to UFC. Do you hear about that? Oh, he's gonna get his. I it. Go for it. He's gonna get his ass whooped. Like mm-hmm. not even like jokingly. Like he's gonna throw a punch. Connor's gonna duck it. That's good instinct, though. To when in doubt, don't say it. Yeah. That's good instinct. Thank but, you. I. Yep. Coach the little kids now. Now I can't do it at all. <laughs> so he's gonna, Floyd's gonna throw a hook. Uh, Mayweather's gonna dive underneath it, take him down, and just beat the piss out of him. And I mean, just I don't know if he's fighting uh, Floyd first though. He's thinking about well, he's training with Ty. We're really going off yeah. the rails here. Well, it's kind of he's training with uh, Tyron Woodley for Tyron or with Tyron? with Tyron Woodley. Oh, who's he training for? Tyron really um, really good. We don't know yet, but they could do it. It, it will eventually probably be Connor. It but could I don't know. be. Oh, you're talking about. Floyd is training with Tyron Woodley. Yes. I still don't think, no matter how long they go, unless he does it like three years later, which I doubt he'll wait that long, hmm. there's no way that his wrestling ability will be able to help him. Honestly, I don't think he'll be able to stop Connor, is what I'm trying to say. Well, yeah. Because Connor can get in close, and then with that, you could throw a bow. <laughs> <laughs> what? Listen to this week's episode of the Two Sweet Wrestling Podcast. Talk about MMA. Everything from Kid Rock to Conor McGregor, we've got you covered. Like Ronda Rousey could be in this. She's wrestling. She could be in the celebrity ring if you wanted to do it that way. Yeah, you could. But I'm saying, I think the celebrity sh- yeah, the celebrity ring should be for people that have wrestled. I don't like that they just been there. Mm-hmm. Stupid. Like Snoop, I love Snoop. I think he's hilarious. He's actually pretty smart too, by the way. Yeah. But I used to be in it because he sang sometimes, and he did one thing like he. Did a terrible, terrible clothesline to someone over the top rope. That was bad. That was, Who was that? It was some. It was. I think it might have been the Miz or something like that. Mm. Something stupid. Anyways, anyway, uh, Cody, do you want fade away, return on my mind, or the goat? Do the first one. Try, whatever the. What was? The, <laughs> I don't remember the titles. I tried to. Cody, do you want fade away, fade away. return on fade my away. mind, or the goat? I'm not gonna do it again. Fade away, fade away. Um, we talked about this briefly. Um, there may be a cameo on Raw, but uh, Jeff Hardy, he, oh. he really messed up. <laughs> oh. oh, he he really messed up. There it is. Hold on, wait. No, there you go. Switch. It's hard to switch. <laughs> Oh, Jeff. Jeff, what'd you do? Jeff, I know exactly what he did. He uh, doesn't know how to not do things bad, so he uh, drank a little wow, bit. Wow, that was quite a bit. It sent. Oh, God. You, it <laughs> infected me. I can't talk anymore. Oh, no. He's so tired. It's, it's such a long day. No, but he got a DUI. It's dumb. It, it, like, when you have that time. Dumb on his part, not that he got a DUI. It's dumb. If you have that much money. Someone else drive. You can get an Uber. Not At even, the very least, you not can even get that. An Uber. You literally have an entourage. Have them drive. Yeah, I don't yeah. think Matt drinks. I don't know. Someone, they, what are your Any, friends? Anyone could. Have. But there's there are rumors that he makes a cameo in Ultimate Deletion. Yeah, because didn't they already film it? Mm-hmm. They, film the they already filmed it. Yeah, probably before he got arrested. Yeah, I think he did. Yeah. What do you think is gonna happen? You're asking, <laughs> is that my question? Hell if I know. Well, my uh, Cody Books from last week is gone because. Yep. Well, it might it might not be. You never know. Switch to me. <laughs> it's gone. Just delete it. Doesn't matter. Continue. All right. Um, do you want return on my mind or the goat? I 
I think Return of Mama. I think I know what it is. It's about someone returning, obviously. Is mm-hmm. it Joe? No. Let me guess two. Let me get three guesses. And All right. But this is a return, though, right? Like it's a, yeah. Okay. So not Samojo. Is it obvious? Like, is it very obvious? It's or not very it? obvious. Is it for the main roster or NXT? Main roster. SmackDown or Raw? Could be either. Oh. <sighs> who's injured? I can't even remember who's injured. All right. Undertaker. Might as well nope. That. Um, I don't know. Who is it? Chris Jericho. Oh. Could be coming back. I was thinking um, injuries. That's what I was thinking. So he did sign, and this is kind of like a, a duel. He did sign for one match. For WWE? Yep. Uh, he got tweeted at that uh, he's done with New Japan. Someone asked him, like, are you done with New Japan? And he said, unfortunately, yes. Oh, why? Uh, they're just not doing anything. They had a storyline with him. What? Yeah, I know. He's done. With Naito. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... Uh, what do you think about uh, Jericho coming back? Who's he going to fight? Who is he going to fight? Think about Elias. So, Battle of the Terrible Scarf. So let's move on to the GOAT. Well, I, let me, let me right. tell you. So let's move on to the GOAT. Um, the greatest Royal Rumble of all time, according to the headlines that they're writing. Um, oh, the, that match yeah. in oh. Saudi Arabia, a 50-man Royal Rumble. Yeah, is that like a live event thing? Yeah, they, it's just a live event. Are they gonna record it? Or? I have no idea. But Jericho signed for that match. You gotta sell and, tickets, I guess. Yep. So people don't fifty people. Um, well, they have enough people on two rosters to do that. Yeah. Um, people don't know if this is like a sign that Jericho's coming back longer term, or if it's just a one and done. We don't really know. Oh, it'll be a one. And, is he still touring? He's touring. Yeah, he's still touring. It's, it'd probably be a one and done. For a little bit, and then he'll come back whenever he's done. Still get a massive pop when he comes back. Oh, yeah. As he I mean, he had a five-star match, for God's sake. Oh, he did, yeah. Mm-hmm. I was thinking, I was like, yeah, duh. Oh, when we're talking about five, when Jake said that thing to me, I was like, I was I was right the whole time. I was like, I'm not arguing with you. Go on. About the... Um, no, tell everyone else. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember the full argument. So I didn't want to. He, he was basically just saying that five star matches don't mean anything. Oh no, we were arguing. I was trying to explain. I was because our friend Jake doesn't know wrestling, so I was trying to explain to him the difference between like New Japan WWE and the way of like I was giving him sports analogies and how like their level. I was like, if WWE is the Patriots, then like at the time when I made the the analogy, the Raiders were really good. They were a playoff team. They're like the Raiders, like they're up and coming. Japan. Japan is the Raiders. Now I'll probably do it to the Jags. They're like the Jags. They're they're good. They're young. They're up and coming. They could beat WWE, you know, but... On a good day. On a good day, but for the most part, there's more viewers. For but if day. you're really good for the Jags, you might go to the Patriots. Yeah. <laughs> and then I gave him some other ones. Get that just, money. And then he's like, I was like, fine. But I was like, he's like, oh, WWE's better in every way. And I was like, yeah, but like, New Japan has had better matches. And he goes, no. And I was like... Ratings say they've had way better, more mm-hmm. five-star matches than WWE. WWE said what, five max? I don't. Rem- I just know that the last one what happened before uh, Gargano and it was 2011. Yeah, that's not, yeah. So that's a long time. That's two and then the one before. I they probably had five. I think one of the mm-hmm. Austin Rocks was five star, which deserves to be so because that was really. Mm-hmm. Good. But um, although I don't know how all three, all three of them technically could have five stars, but their matches weren't technical though. Their matches were just great storytelling. But anyway, yeah. we had a um, long argument, and I was just, I was just like, yeah, I'm not dealing with this. <laughs> um, Arguing James Cody, do you points. want to uh, have a little Cody Books action, or do you want to move on? Oh, yeah, if there's one more. Um, do you have anything in mind? If you have anything in mind... Uh, not like, really. I, I don't, because the one I was going to have we got ruined with the... Yeah. The, a lot of things, so... Nothing yet. We'll, we'll save it for Plus next. Plus, it doesn't week. matter anyway. Not doesn't matter right now because he's going into WrestleMania. Season, so all the storylines are pretty much. Eked yeah. Out. And then after that, after that, there'll be. But oh, what I was gonna say was I forgot. What if they, they're not gonna do it? But because uh, when's Money in the Bank? Mm. The month right, not the month after the one after that, right? I think so. Yeah. So April, May. So in June is one of those. Mm-hmm. What if at WrestleMania, <laughs> like. Uh, cause it could be, you seem me. so excited. I'm so about excited this. about it. Cause it's, it's so stupid, but I could, WWE is ridiculous. So they could do it. Is Carmella's thing for any woman's title? Or is it just SmackDown's? I'm guessing any women's title. Could you imagine? <laughs> They're not going to do it. Cause I don't think they would end Oscar and Charlotte with like that. But like if they had a grueling match and they'd beat the crap out of each other and then Carmella just comes and just hits her with the thing and then pins her and then that's it. 
I feel like whenever Carmella wins the title, she's gonna mess it up. No, she'll. I think she'll win the title and lose it like the next night. Do you think she'll she would, pull you, a Zack Ryder? No, <laughs> two things. Two things. One, she might do it to Alexa Bliss because who's Alexa Bliss gonna fight? Um, Nia Jax probably. She could do it on that match. That would make sense mm-hmm. if it's for either show. But also, that would be my guess because the whole yeah. storyline they just set up. But I'm also really salty about that. You brought up Zack Ryder. Would he want the Intercontinental? Because that was like a solid match. Because Sami Zayn and Kevin it was Owens were really good. Because yeah. Kevin Owens died, as he always does with Sami Zayn. <laughs> People forget Cody was in that match. Yeah, Cody Rhodes was in that match. Yeah, but no. And then he won. I was like, "Yo, that was." I was so hyped. And then he lost the next night. I was like, "Cool." Thanks for getting my hopes up. You're really trying movie. to get that over. No, it's I like it. I don't care if anyone likes it. I like it. <laughs> cool. Get it. All right. I think it's time. Time for the jobber of the week. I feel like we have the same one. Do we? We'll say we'll say who they are on three. No, two. I got it. I'll go first. But if you still mind, then I'll have one. Then you go first. You can go first. <laughs> You're ridiculous. All right. <laughs> Time for the jobber of the week. My jobber of the week's Bobby Roode. Oh wow, that's different. Um, yep. No, completely different. Um, Bobby Roode, the character of Bobby Roode, not a not the person. Um, just a horrible week. Horrible week. Um, come out and lose your title in, in, in a decent match with... Uh, oh, but then just the promo afterwards, there's a rematch and you want it at WrestleMania and then you lose after that. Boo. Boo, I mean, Bobby boo. You know, and again, this is kind of like a Jobber of the Week stable. You could put booking of Bobby Roode as a Jobber of the Week too. You but know, stable's three things, right? What? You know, stables, three things. No, a, like a state, maybe a staple. I don't know. Y- you infected me with it. I can't be able I, I, I can't know, talk anymore <laughs> thanks to you. you know, a stable is three people. So it would be three things. In wrestling, it is. Yeah, that's what we're talking <laughs> What are we talking about, Brad? <laughs> Sentences? What are we talking about right Anything? now? Wrestling. Okay, so it would be three. I won that. Continue. I'm, I more <laughs> just gave up. I think I messed up what I said, but the point the point is is that uh, the entire booking of Bobby Roode as a character this week has been horrible and very deserved of Jobber of the Week. Cody? Time for the Jobber of the Week. I have two. One of them is our continuous Jobber of the Week until they fix it. Gary. Gary from... Uh, Go to hell, Gary. Yeah, Gary. God. For those of you who don't know, <laughs> Graphics Gary... Um, or Gary, the graphics guy, whatever you want to call him. Um, he's terrible. He's the worst. He's the guy who keeps filling up our With screens. word art font. <laughs> Just stupid <laughs> word art. I don't like, understand. Like, I love subtitles. If you've, if you've ever watched a movie with me, I need subtitles because I like to, because I'm terrible hearing, so I like to hear the things. I don't need subtitles that big. One, they're way too big. Two, why are they colored? I don't need color. There were, it, it's it's also it's not even subtitles. It's just their sayings. It sounds like I'm watching a comic book in live action. Because they're like, wow, and then wow, pop up on the screen. I'm like, no, I don't. Get these hands and just get these hands. Yep. Stupid. <laughs> and then uh, my second thing is tag team wrestling. Oh. It is. Oh. Tag team no, wrestling. You're, you're right, but oh. No. <laughs> because the entire, even in NXT now, is a little bit meh, boring to be H. Because, I mean, TM, like I told you, I like TM61, but they're meh. They're, like I said, they're knockoffs of. Uh, DIY, but they're still like I'd watch them if I don't have DIY, you know, because they do mm-hmm. kind of the same things. But tag team wrestling in WWE, because in the Indies, it's great, great tag yep. team matches all over the place. WWE has no idea. WWE is going through what they went through with the women, like from 2000. Uh, let's see, I could technically say from like the mid 90s, but I'll be nice. From was we'll say what 2004 was when the Diva Search happened, 2003 around there, mm-hmm. 2003 to about 2012, so about 10 years. Nine, ten years where they don't know how to book women. They just, you know. <laughs> Some would argue that they still don't know how to book women. Yeah, but they're at least giving them matches. Like, they get good, solid, like, actual wrestling matches, and they're not like, you stole my boyfriend, let's fight. And then they fight. Mm-hmm. Now they're, and they slap. Yeah, they, I mean, they still kind really of Really dramatically. Just, just Stephanie slaps at this point. Yeah. Stephanie's the crossover. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> but tag team wrestling, since probably about, like, 2010, been pretty awful at least in WWE because besides the New Day and the Usos name another tag team champion that's solid like that's been solid well there's only two belts so uh and 
the bar. Not the nah, they're tag team. Nah, it's a boring tag. It's not a good. I'm just talking about like actual good tag. Like every time you watch, you're like, oh, it's a good tag team match. The bar. I haven't seen a bar match where I'm like, oh, that was really good. It's like, oh, these are two really good singles competitors that don't know. Like, yeah, you're right with the Usos in the New Day. Yeah, think of another tag team that's won the titles. That's that's overly good. I could like you can name like Luke Allen stuff like that, but they're like, yeah, they won the titles. I'm saying, but you, they're not like, oh well. I mean, WWE because they're great. Like in New Japan. No, they're good workers. They're just yeah. The, when they they're not the given a was. chance is the problem. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They don't yeah. know how to book tag teams, and they haven't. They haven't even even since the the, the, the once the ruthless uh, the ruthless aggression. I can't talk. <laughs> the ruthless aggression era started. Tag team just went out the door after they lost. Not lost, but after um, like Edge and Christian broke up, the mm-hmm. Dudleys and Jeff Hardy they gone. They tag team wrestling just went out the window. They kind of brought it back a little bit with the SmackDown Six that I keep talking about because they, like Rey Mysterio and Chris Benoit were a tag team, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And then that works out. After that, they just crap the bed on that. Yeah. But I mean, and we'll see if it gets better. I doubt it. Not for a while. It probably won't be for a while because they don't. They, Speaking of tag team wrestling, before we close the show, uh, where's War Machine? I saw some pictures of them. In King. They haven't. Oh, by the way, found out that uh, Ricochet is debuting soon. He already did. Did he on TV? Yeah. Have I missed it? Is it this week? No. Last week? They taped it. That doesn't mean he's debuted yet, though, because it hasn't been on TV. I'm talking about debuts when it's on TV, not when they tape him. Oh, well, it's probably in the next couple weeks. I'm hyped for it, though, because I love him. Did he win? Do you know? he, he, no, he, he didn't win. It, it wasn't a match. It was a, like, everyone comes out and interrupts each other type thing. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, I think he's getting a title push, though. He is for the new title. Oh, I'm hyped for it. That, was the, that, that should have been a wheel wrestling story right there. It's the North American title. So yeah. many titles. I don't know why they don't do a... A I network title. Tell me that wouldn't be dope, though, man. Because That's, literally every title is a network title. No, it's not. Do you know what, the point of a network title, it's, it's just a cool name. Because then you could put it on both brands. <laughs> <laughs> the North American title sounds so 1975. The North American heavyweight title. Do you know how many yeah. N- the NWA? Uh, it NWA, might as well be the U.S. champion. The NWA, it's what it is. Yeah. Oh, it's Canada does North America, so I guess. Actually, is Mexico part of North America? Or is it just United States and above? No, it is, because Mexico is part of North America, and then South America is its own thing. But what I'm saying is, it sounds like a 1970s territory era title, is what that sounds like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're not wrong. We could talk about like top five and worst titles, but... Vinny, how do you feel about that? Cool. Yeah, hey, he's not here. Oh. But, um... No. No, that's I, I just don't like the name. Like, think you can probably think of a better name off the top of your head right now. Uh, uh, I mean, the network title is better than it doesn't make any sense, but it's better than the even a television. It doesn't make television titles so cool though. Like, Ring of Honor has a television title. Yep, they do. Kenny King. Yeah, Kenny King's not bad. Mm-hmm. Kind of an a hole backstage, but that's it is what it is. Um, it's very egotistical. Mm. Um, but no, you could think of like the NXT. What is it? We said like the, the pure one was nice. That one's fine. Yeah, I like the, the pure NXT Grand Prix. Mm. That's what I said before. The Grand Prix champion. What's that? It, Grand Prix just have like a. You, I don't know. You any cool? <laughs> it's cooler than North American every way. Yeah. Well, I I think their logic with that was or like, an oh, international- we have a UK. Let's do a North America. No, they could have done. <laughs> but then, but then they have American people fighting for the UK title. I don't get it. Well, to be fair, they're probably just gonna end up turning into the European title like they did in WWE, where people who weren't European. Held it. I don't know what you shouldn't limit it to a know. region, but what I'm saying they is they did originally for the tournament for what the UK one, yeah, yeah. I know I'm saying you shouldn't do it in general because it limits you to who can win it. Mm-hmm. No, I'm saying they should just name like the, the NXT International Championship, then anyone can win it. Boom, merge, merge the UK division, retire the title, put it on a wall because it's beautiful, and then because it is, it's really, I love it. Oh, I don't know about retiring it, it's pretty nice, yeah. No, I'm saying, but if you were to do mm-hmm. just an international, then. Then you don't limit yourself to a region. Mm-hmm. Then Pete Dunne could fight Ricochet because it's an international title. It's not a UK title. Yep. Pick a better name. Stop being, history, no, ma- I, no, stop being history majors and pick better names. No, I'm... Yeah, you're for... I'm not, yeah, I'm I'm not arguing it's with you. It's probably Gary's fault, to be honest. Gary probably... Hey, you know what we should name that new title? North American title. I saw it in, like, looking through some old videos. Sounds good, Gary. <laughs> NWA. It's, it's like, you're a genius, Gary. That's why we hired you. <laughs> They're in a boardroom. Yep. Hey, Gary, you're such good with ideas. What should we do in this title? Um, yeah, North American title. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's how we hired you, Gary. <laughs> this has been the Two Sweet Wrestling Podcast. 
You can follow the podcast at Too Sweet Podcast on Facebook and Twitter and Twitch and YouTube. Uh, you can also listen to the podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, Player FM, Google Play, and wherever you can find podcasts. You can follow me, Brett Blakemore, at B underscore Blakemore 10. Cody, where can I follow you? Cody Mallory 3232. This has been a fun episode. Not bad. Let's hope to get Vinny back next week. We can only hope. And we're going to WrestleMania still. We've got to we've got to prepare for that. Woo! All right. How? We will see you next week for episode 31. Stay too sweet.